Good morning everybody, my name is Renee aka Fit Aussie Sister and I'm here welcoming you to my channel. Now this channel is dedicated towards my no car challenge where I do not set foot inside a car for a full year for a charity called World Bicycle Relief. And of course I am primarily getting around by bike. Now this is my week 10 update, I am sitting here, it is Monday week 11, but I am updating you on a week 10, check it out. Wednesday week 10, to be honest, I'm feeling crook. I am not feeling 100%. I can't quite put my finger in it. You can see I look tired. Remind me guys to get a blood test. And I think I need to start seeing a nutritionist because I'm burning, I'm burning on average 3000 calories a day on a quiet day, two and a half, on a busy day, three and a half. I'm trying my hardest to get as many calories and nutrient dense calories as I can, but I I don't know, I've got to go check this out with the professionals. That is not my house. I live about 800 meters the other direction in a dodgy townhouse, guys. Although it's amazing to live this close to the water. I am halfway through a workout that was set for me. Now I wanted to let you guys know that I actually reached out to Starfish Triathlon because they are experts in cycling and running and swimming. I have no interest in swimming just yet, but I thought they could help me out with my running given I am cycling so much. So Ted has given me a workout. It's Thursday morning, I would usually go for a slow jog before I ride my road bike to work. I'm already feeling knackered, I told you guys yesterday, so we'll see if I actually ride my road bike to work because it is harder than my electric bike. Right now I'm doing a slow 5k and then spending half an hour running up hills because my next event is quite hilly and has some elevations. That 5k was meant to be easy but I have sweat dripping off me. I think it's just that I'm always sweaty. Anyway, I'm going to go run some hills now. <laughs> shattered yesterday I'm feeling a little bit better but my face still looks tired but yesterday oh my gosh that ride was so much harder than it was supposed to be it felt like I was climbing Mount Everest but really when you look at the elevation it's pretty pathetic um <laughs> thank god it's Friday next time I see you we've got our workout till you drop that'll be tomorrow morning so I didn't do anything this morning might contribute to why I'm feeling so good Monday, Tuesday, still had a whole bunch of admin type stuff to do. Lots of uni assignments, household stuff, you know the drill, chock-a-block. I'm actually really stressed at the moment. When I get pimples, I know my body is starting to get stressed. Tuesday night, I have started joining Starfish Triathlon Club run sessions, which was really awesome. We did um, sprints. It felt so awesome to do those 600 meter sprints. Thank you, Starfish. By Wednesday morning, I was knackered to school only on the electric bike it was my rest day just cranked up the electric by Thursday morning I head outside for a pre-programmed run session caffeine that I consumed just did nothing didn't touch it and then I still persisted and I went ahead and rode my road bike to work because I knew I wouldn't get another opportunity that week 5k down the road oh my gosh I regretted it I knew I had made a big mistake it was, it felt like the longest ride of my life, that whole 27K with, it only has about 300 meters elevation, but because I was so fatigued and obviously starting to come down with something, it felt like I was climbing mountains. It just should not have felt that hard. And keeping it real, Thursday afternoon, I sat in my classroom in my kit and I was genuinely nervous. My heart was starting to race because I knew how fatigued and tired and sick I was feeling. I just did not want to ride my road bike home. And by the way, Wednesday, I was having trouble with my cranks, the pedals. The thread was starting to wear. I fixed it up. And then by Friday afternoon, back on my electric bike, I Friday afternoon, I rode my green bike home. It was 20 Ks from home. So I barely rode seven Ks down the road. If you're a local, it was out near Chandler and I could already feel my 
crank, the pedal starting to loosen, starting to spin. Now that indicates that there's something wrong with the crank set. It shouldn't loosen so quickly. I had to cruise home. End up to my workout till you drop with Kylie a little bit late. Sorry guys, but that was because I didn't allow enough time because I forgot how slow a regular bike is when you're feeling sick. We raised enough money for a full bike. Thank you guys for those of you who attended. By Sunday, I knew I needed a rest. It was the first Sunday I've had off in ages. Normally that is a long run day. I'm heading into week 11. I'm still sending lots of emails, putting my feelers out there. If you have any ideas at home on people that you think or companies that you think might be willing to get behind me, um, I would really appreciate it if you can shout me a line. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow me on my journey. See you later.